So hey everybody, Kelly Orchard here with Mustang Monday with Ashley Collins from Southwest Healthcare System. Healthcare system. Yeah. I just want to call it Rancho Community Springs Hospital, but there's more than one hospital. <laughs> there are. It's yes. Rancho Springs and Inland Valley. And Inland Valley. Yes. So um, I'm really happy to have um, Ashley with me today. So Ashley and I have known each other now for how many years? F over four. Yeah, four at least four or five things? years. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we met. This is how we met. I usually am a regular speaker at the Survivor Thriver Retreats for Michelle's Place. Oh yeah, this will be year five because that was in 2015. Okay. And I've spoken with Michelle's Place. I think I've only missed one year since I've lived mm -hmm. here. So six or seven times I have been privileged to present at their retreat. Yes. And so this one year I was there and it was the first time that I had come up with the idea, actually was 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 encouraged when you're about to be a speaker you know the the person who's introducing you may not know you so hand them a script and so that they can introduce you without making a mistake and so I handed Ashley the script we had just met that day I handed her the script and she says <laughs> thank you for that yes because that was your first I, it was my first um, introduction um, I had started with Michelle's place that year mm -hmm. um, this event was like May June -ish, yes usually June -ish, and yeah. I had just started in April right so um, I was a little new uh, <laughs> and this is my first the time first event interrupt er, yeah, yeah. In introducing somebody who's gonna be speaking to yeah. our ladies and it was also the first time that I was in an event with our um, ladies dealing with cancer yeah and so it was a little nerve-wracking for yeah. me and it was a beautiful location oh, be beautiful we, location. we had yeah. never gone back to that place since I don't think it's quite the same but it was like that stone place and they had like the yeah, waterfalls it was gorgeous. And, oh gorgeous place. yes I know it was a great event and that's how we met it was kind of a bonding moment for the yeah. both of us because I handed her a script it was the first time I'd ever done that so that someone wouldn't basically butcher who I am when they announced me and you were so very grateful and it so it was so grateful it, for was, that. it was an awesome way to meet yeah. awesome yeah. Way, and we've been friends ever since and yes. so but but your career has evolved since then, so... Yes, that's because yeah. I'm a badass. No. That's right. <laughs> that's exactly it, which is why she's in the car. It's because you are a badass. I'm, thank you. I yes. love that confidence and the boldness. Nice. Yeah, yes. well, I mean, like like I said, that was that was five years ago. I was uh, fresh... Uh, well, I was a year out of college from my bachelor's degree. Mm -hmm. um, I had worked for a marketing agency prior to going to Michelle's Place, and it was a horrible, horrible place to work. So it, Not it, Michelle's it, Place. Not Michelle's Place. Right, the, yeah. this marketing Michelle's Place is great, yeah. Yeah, and it, was, <laughs> it, it, it made it real that, you know, your first job out of college is horrible, and it, I, it was horrible. And then I found Michelle's Place, and life just got so much better. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it really it really boosted my my career, my um, my my whole persona in the community. Yeah, your visibility. My visibility, right. yes. Because yeah, um, yeah. immediately when I started working there, Kim, um, Kim Garrish. Hi. Gotta get her in the car uh, too. Thank yeah, you for tagging. Thank you for mentioning her. She's yeah. a badass. Have to get Kim. Yeah, you gotta get Kim. Yeah. Um, she uh, she pointed me in the directions of, of networking groups to, to join. So like the Chamber with Valley Young Professionals, Rotary, um, I had joined New Gen Rotary. So just, just going in those directions and starting to mm -hmm. just get acclimated in the business community. Yeah. And, and that's that's the how that's, that's the ticket and that's it's the like ticket. You, you have to you have to remember this over and over and over again the ticket is it doesn't matter how educated you are even though you do have an education mm -hmm. it is a lot of who you know it's all about who you know it is, yeah that's how i have the job mm -hmm. i have now yeah. um you know brian connor's heard that um, or the, the job opening. He heard that you were a badass. He heard that I was a badass. He, he, and he's, he's like, like I, I, yeah. just actually, he's like, I need her. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mean, that's how I got yeah. the, the job that I have. So it's yeah. like really moving up in your career. Um, it, it really is about who you know. And, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, if you're just sitting on the sidelines and not getting to know people in this community, you know, yeah. you know it's going to be kind of hard to, to Well, go like you, you know, we were talking about a conversation about, you know, who you associate with, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, you yeah. You know, and when you associate with people who aren't in professional field, right. you're not going to get those kinds of connections no. to, to boost your professional yeah. career. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it is always about, you know, say we, we are the sum of the five people we spend the most time with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you're spending time with people who are negative and are not driven and Absolutely. not passionate about their work, yeah. Then guess what? You're not going to get anywhere. And yeah. what I think what you've done is you've not only okay, but you've also been fo f following your passion to educate yourself yes. as well. Yes. It is about who you know, but in yeah. your case, it is also about what you've learned and yeah. what you're willing to accomplish. You, you don't get a job doing marketing right. for a hospital system <laughs> right. because of who you know. Right. That's exactly. Very true. That's very true. Yeah. Um, working at, Mich I was the communications director at Michelle's place and you know, I, I, I really had wet feet and I was kind of, you know, just jumping in there. 
Uh, like I said, I've had a very fake it till you make it mentality and it's really gotten me somewhere. Well, it does work. It actually does. It really does work. But you know, the mentors that I've had, I mean, even Kim, uh, working for Kim was amazing. She, um, she really is a badass. I mean, she worked her way up from being the marketing person at Michelle's place to running, running it Mm -hmm. and and look at how well she's done at running it. And I mean, it's just growing immensely and, and it's, it's a beautiful thing to see. Um, and, and that's, I, I really saw that and I, I wanted that. Like, I want, I want to be like that. I want to be able to grow like that mm-hmm. as a person. And, um, you know, she's such a grace, gracious leader mm-hmm. and I love that. And I want to be like that too. So it's like, I really wanted to become a great leader. Be and, like Kim. Yeah. Be like Kim. <laughs> that, that's going to be our new phrase <laughs> that's gonna for be our new, new phrase. So if you want to be badass, be yeah, like Kim. Be like Kim. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, but I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing to, mm-hmm. to see. And yeah. as a woman in the business uh, community, like that's how you want to lead. And that's mm-hmm. the type of leadership that I would love to, to have. So educating myself in my field, I got my master's in public relations. I'm working on my MBA now. I, I really feel like you can never get enough education. Yeah. I could be a student forever. I could too. I could be a career student too. I, I could be. I really could. I really love it. Um, yeah. I don't love the debt that I acquire. Yeah. But, That's you know, the only reason why I'm not. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. But, you know, when you have a, a, a job that does tuition assistance, I mean, mm-hmm. why not get another degree? Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. And a lot of people tell me, you got kids. Like, how do you have time for that? Well. You make time. You, you make time. You make time. Mm-hmm. Because I'm, it's really an investment in myself. And if I'm not investing in myself. Who else is going to invest in? You know? Well, you're also you're also living by example too. You know, it's like a lot of times we, you know, it's like a few weeks ago we did I did one on parenting tips for teenagers. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like I did my I worked on my master's degree program mm-hmm. when my kids were teenagers. Yeah, and so it, yes, I'm not really thrilled about the debt that I incurred, <laughs> but on the other hand, they saw me committed to going to class. Right. They saw me working on my schoolwork and right. writing my papers. So important. they saw me passing mm-hmm. grades, and so mm-hmm. therefore when I would tell them to sit there and do their homework for them it was I was leading by example exactly. now I'm not saying that every parent when you're right. teenagers you need to go get a master's degree <laughs> right but we do need to lead by example yes. as well with our and, children and, absolutely you know and so that's what you're showing your kids right now mm-hmm. because one of them is 11 he's 11 and then you have another one who is I have a two-year-old he'll be three, three soon. A, a, almost uh, three major my three major we were, we were talking about, we had lunch and we were talking about the Ooh. three major thing and I'm like oh I can remember that and uh, my grandson's that age I mean when, when like, he supermans it onto the floor yeah. and it's just like yeah like yeah. uh it, yeah. I, I I wanna laugh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you don't wanna but I, but you don't I don't wanna encourage it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's like I'm yeah. that parent that laughs at her kids and oh, it's yeah, probably not very Oh no, I do too. It's like and my kids do too. It's like yeah. now it's kinda of the point where we have to cover our faces. Because right. it's too funny. And I got I got a whole story yes. that I can share about oh, hanging goodness, up my horrible. button wall with my granddaughter. I know. Yeah. Then they're not taking me seriously because yeah. I can't help but laugh. Oh I know. <laughs> it's it's torturous. I know. Parenting is is so much fun. Yes. 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 Very challenging, but you know my 11 year old. He he's he's in fifth grade, and uh, for him, it's uh, the time when you know it's more responsibility at school. Um, you have a lot more workload, and so for him to see that even in my state as a, a person who's in a career, I'm mm-hmm. still educating Working. myself, and yes. I want him to know the, the yeah. value of education because he's so smart. Yeah, and, you know it. It would be really sad to see this super smart kid, you know, mm-hmm. not do anything with mm-hmm. it. So I, I'm teaching him how to apply what he's learning in the real world and I want him to experience things and, and yeah. it's fun to see him grow yeah. so that's for sure so mine and Ashley's badass tip for you today is it is about who you know to, to pursue the the bigger aspect of your career but it also is important for you to continue to educate mm-hmm. yourself and then you know it's like something that you brought in here which really wasn't even part of the actual tip was the mentoring yeah. from people that you respect yes absolutely you know it, it's a, we, I've done one on mentoring before but you just kind of brought her into the conversation as an example of someone you'd like to be like. Well, yeah, you know, and, and and I, that's, I that's important. A, you need to find people I like do. that. I do. I think that's important, and it's like you you kind of have that in your mind. Um, if you find something that you you really see that you aspire to be, mm-hmm. go with that and mm-hmm. keep that that yeah. that in your mind as right. as you're going along your journey. Yes, and it uh, eventually will happen. And it eventually will happen. Yeah, it might so. take a little time. It might take a little time. You yes. know, I mean, I, I'm still a very immature person, and I, and I, 
I, you not. know, I <laughs> love to be, you know, jokey and immature. Yes. And <laughs> We, we can call her youthful, not you know, immature. <laughs> you know, I like to be said, I'm youthful. I, I like to I mean, live youth, my life in yes. color, that's for sure. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, because sometimes you can't take yourself too seriously. I but, never uh, take myself seriously. But yeah, I take my uh, work seriously. I take what I do seriously, yeah. seriously, but I don't take me seriously. Absolutely. And that's that's something you have to learn as well. Yes. All right. Yeah. So Ashley Collins from Southwest. Healthcare, healthcare system. system. Kelly Orchard, your badass certifier. <laughs> and uh, thank you. This is Mustang Monday. And we're going to, you have to say this with me. Do my tagline. We are reminding you to be bold. Be bold. Be brave. Be, brave, be confident. Be confident. Be badass. Be badass. <laughs>